Lives are at stake. Every day, the U.S. Department of Transportation waits to act on the life-saving technology standard required by Congress. Drunk drivers are killing and injuring innocent people. A person dies in a drunk driving crash every 45 minutes in the U.S. And someone is injured by a drunk driver every two minutes. We're counting down until an impaired driving prevention safety standard is set. And the clock is ticking. The U.S. Department of Transportation must take immediate action to meet the November 15, 2024 deadline mandated in the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act. The U.S. DOT is directed to complete the process of setting a final standard for impaired driving prevention technology within three years. The law is neutral about which types of technology should be used to prevent impaired driving. A year has passed. Now, there's only two years left to meet that deadline. Every day that it's delayed, more people are killed and injured. Technologies already exist that can eliminate drunk driving and other hazardous behaviors, including drugged, distracted, and drowsy driving. The National Transportation Safety Board issued a strong statement of support for in-vehicle alcohol detection technology and exploration of other technologies, such as driver monitoring. As NTSB Chair Jennifer Homendy said, we need to implement the technologies that we have right here, right now, to save lives. Auto companies have been developing these technologies for decades. Toyota and Nissan both announced impaired driving prevention technology development in 2007. The Driver Alcohol Detection System for Safety, or DADS, started in 2008 and reports that its systems will be available in 2024 or 2025. Over the past three years, Volvo and Subaru have announced they have driver monitoring systems to prevent impaired driving. Volvo has said its EX90 electric SUV will have laser sensors and cameras that can detect drunk driving. And just this summer, Hyundai Mobis announced their new cabin monitoring system uses optical sensor technology to determine the driver's blood alcohol level. A bipartisan Congress and the President have spoken. Auto companies have already engineered solutions. Yet impaired drivers continue to kill and injure hundreds of thousands of innocent people each year. It's time for the U.S. DOT to move its impaired driving prevention technology rulemaking into high gear. Thousands of lives depend on urgent action. Visit mad.org slash USDOT countdown to learn how you can help.